like to play baseball, basketball, soccer, and football. He was just a normal little boy, and then he started running differently, and he said that he couldn't help it. And so we got a referral to go see Dr. Marks, and he looked at Ryan, and he said, I know that he has Cystonia. And then from there, it was just a tornado, pretty much. <laughs> He has a diagnosis of DYT1 dystonia, and it typically begins in childhood with the onset of dystonia or uncontrolled movements that usually start in a leg and gradually spread to involve the whole body. His left leg is affected. His right shoulder and his right arm is starting to twist, and it's like having a Charlie horse all day long. Within the last month, it has progressed more than I could imagine. I didn't ever think that my boy would be in a wheelchair. And he is. <laughs> you always worry about your kids. And I don't like seeing him like that. As soon as it was clear that he was progressing and getting worse, getting more uncomfortable and being more limited in the things that he wanted to be able to do, like run and play sports, we were talking to the family about DBS, which is the initials that we use for deep brain stimulation. In essence, this is a way of treating certain disorders by delivering small pulses of electricity to highly specific areas of the brain. Similar to what you do for the heart when it beats in an abnormal fashion and you can use a pacemaker, we can do the same thing with the brain, but you just have to have highly targeted areas in order to make this work. The system involves a wire that goes down into the brain and comes to a pacemaker that sits in your chest. Everything we do to program or recharge the programmer is done externally with a little box that we can hold over it and we can set the settings. Ryan represents a milestone for us in that he is the 100th patient that we've done DBS on here in, at Cook Children's. Knowing that he's going to be helped just like the other 99 kids before him and how they're going to help so many more kids, it made Ryan excited. I'm hoping after my DBS surgery that I'll be able to play football with my friends and be how I was before any of this came. The whole goal is to be just as accurate as you possibly can on the placement of the electrode. This is the tower that we have in place. We have some major adjustments we just did, and now we got to be much closer. Now through this is where we're sliding the ceramic stylet, and then the ceramic stylet will come out and it will slide an electrode the exact same spot. The first visit after the DBS is implanted, we go through and we check each one of the contacts to determine which one is really in the best position to achieve our goal of programming. And then we typically see them back in about a month and we will begin to adjust the parameters a little bit to try and get more benefit. Our goal has been and remains to improve the children's ability to move so that they can achieve as normal a life as possible. Looking at Ryan, we are more than delighted about how well he's doing. I can tell when I'm walking. I can tie my shoe and button a shirt, but it used to, I couldn't do any of that. It makes me feel a whole lot better that I can actually do stuff. He's doing wonderfully. Each visit that we have, he gets a little bit better. He can go back to school. As long as he has both feet on the ground, he can do it. We will continue to program him. Our goal will be to get him as good as we can. We don't promise perfection, but our plan now would be to see him in a couple of months and make some additional adjustments and hopefully get him to a point where he's stable and doing all the things he wants to do. We want people to see Ryan's journey and know that there is a bright future for their child. And the DBS surgery and Cook's Children's Hospital, they're wonderful. 
Cook Children really is a special place to work. We have the great advantage here of having clinic with our neurosurgeons. So we can bounce problem patients off of each other. We can come across the hall and say, would you look at this child or would you look at this scan? And that really does make it special. And always keeping the children and the families at the center of what we're doing. All the support has been super, super amazing. And we're just very, very thankful and grateful for everything.